here, Rachel. Here, Drew. When I first heard about your plans to get married, meaning when I first read it online, <laughs> it struck me. It struck me how similar you are. And as I get to know Drew, as I get to know you better, and how different you are. You're similar in your in your commitments to Judaism, your commitments to family, your range of friendships that are so strong and so meaningful. And you share a bond in your professions in the values that underlie your professions as educators, as ones who engage in tikkun olam and in perfecting the world. And while you share this core value, the way that you go about it is different. Your tikkunim, your ways of contributing to the world are different. Rachel is a teacher, Drew is a teacher in the rabbi. And your olamot and your worlds are different as well. With whom you interact on a day-to-day -day basis, Torahs are different, but your messages are so powerful and so simple. The Talmud says that there are only a few causes for which it's permitted to sell a Sefer Torah in order to achieve that cause or that end. And one of those is to get married. The Talmud says, Mokrim Sefer Torah Visa you sell the Torah in order to raise money to get married. Meaning there are certain things in life that are so valuable the sacrifice that we make for it is so great. And marriage is one of those things. As you stand here, you're blessed in so many ways. You're blessed in that you found each other. And in doing so, you're blessed that you found someone who not only understands what you do, but why you do it. It's the opposite of having to sell a Torah for the sake of the relationship. We're coming together today under the Sintah, you each acquire a precious Torah. It's a Torah that will so much meaning, deep meaning into your marriage and into your life, as you have the ability to impact more and more people. As the home that you create is one that will be a bite and among Israel. And I know everyone is, is aware of the degree of preparation that went into making this such a beautiful occasion, to making the home that you build so unique and so special. It's a preparation that involves everything that you've done up to, up to this point, your education, your, your travels, your profession. They've all gone into making you work so well together. And of course, an important part of this preparation is the families from which you come. I'd like to address one aspect of this in particular. The Talmud says that when a groom searches for a bride, there are certain things that he should look for. And one of those in the words of the Talmud is, Hanosei ishatz tzarif sheyidot ve'achea. That one who wishes to marry a woman Check out her brothers. Okay. <laughs> and while to her brothers, this might make a lot of sense, the question is why? Well, the why has to do with the many, many dreams and hopes that are being fulfilled right here at this moment. Whether your own dreams of finding someone who can compliment you, make yourselves better in a remarkable way that has happened. Whether the dreams of your parents and grandparents who prayed prayed as they held you as babies, that the match that you find should be as wonderful as it is today. It's the dream of your many friends who all are invested in your happiness. But of course, as we stand here, we remind ourselves that it's not a dream, it's a reality. And when it says, when the Talmud says that one who's married a woman should, should check out her brothers, it means that you need a reality check. It means that at this moment, when you're entering into a relationship that's so deep on so many levels, and seems so wonderful, and seems so right, but you want to know if what you found is for real. It's not just a dream, but it's real. So you look to her brothers, you look to her siblings. You don't look to them to see who they are, but that's not important for now. You look to them to tell you about the compassion, and the kindness, and the insight and inspiration that your wife has. Is this for real? Is this who she was growing up? answer that I give you, Drew, is a resounding yes. She is this one. And Rachel, you found a true gem. A true gem, a true gem and true. Someone who 
can I put so many levels? And it helps you to become, to become whole and completely fulfilled. And you too, Rachel, can check it out with this family. I'll tell you it's true. And so I take this time to join together with our families and friends in reaffirming to you what you know so well, how precious your Mitzia truly is, and the blessing Bless you with the words of the Sheva Rabbi. May your marriage be ones that achieve Ava, Biyachva, Bishalom, Bilayut. Love, brotherhood, peace, peace, and everlasting friendship. Amen. It's at this time that we'll proceed to the Sheva Rabbi.